Hi everyone, today I'm with Elisa Miller Moon and we're going to talk about intuitive energy art and how that relates to designing our soul's journey. Elisa, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me, George. I appreciate you. Yeah, I look forward to this. So let me first um, share your brief bio with the audience and then we'll get into talking about intuitive energy heart and I can already see that you have some in the background that, that uh, it looks amazing. And then, um, so we'll go from there. So here's your bio for everybody. Elisa Miller Moon is an intuitive energy artist and your soul journey guide. Together with her celestial or spiritual team, which she's gonna explain um, what she means by that, she creates artwork to transform her client's living space, to raise their vibration and to heal their spirit. Uh, Elisa also works one-on-one -on -one with women who are ready to design their soul journey. And we'll also talk about what, what you mean by soul journey. So great to have you here. And uh, I also want to mention that your website is ilisamillermoon.com. It's I-L-I-S-A Millermoon, M-I-L-L-E-R-M-O-O-N. I'll be sure to put the link in the notes of this video, of course, so it's easier to, for those of you watching to click on it. So, uh, well, let's kind of get right into it. What is... Uh, you can either describe your what you mean by your celestial team or what is intuitive energy art? Well, let's start with intuitive energy art because some people, I get that a lot. What is that? What are you talking about? <laughs> so for me, intuitive energy art is connecting with my celestial team. So I invite my angels, my spirit guides, my divine source to create with me and through me and together we paint. And so suddenly there's, it feels like there's this whole party in my studio. And um, it has been, intuitive energy art has been so healing for me because of that deep connection with my celestial team. And I've, I've always been an artist since the age of three when I decided to grab my crayons and draw on the walls of my bedroom, which didn't go over real well. But um, intuitive energy art is not something that I learned in college when I was majoring in art. I discovered intuitive energy art um, in my late 30s when I was going through a very difficult time. Um, I was struggling with the realization that I was having a second failed marriage and um, was experiencing depression and really didn't know where to go from there, uh, I felt stuck. So that is when I discovered intuitive energy art. And together with my celestial team, I began to heal. It was so powerful, that connection. I began to receive messages and nudges. And that's also when my transformation began as an artist and a businesswoman. As, and I received the nudge very clearly. I can remember the day. It's time for you to design your soul journey. And I, I heard that message while I was painting. And I had no idea what that entailed. And I said, what does that look like? And I heard, you need to live the life that you envision for yourself, not the life that you think those around you want you to live. So it was all about connecting with my inner, inner voice and really figuring out what what did I want? What did I want my life to look like? Um, because at that point I was miserable. So I made a plan um, to leave that marriage, which was one of the best gifts I ever gave myself. And I began to design my soul journey. And again, this all derived from intuitive energy art and connecting with my celestial team um, as I painted. Because like I said, I've always been an artist. I've always painted. Um, but the healing energy that I've been able to infuse into my artwork, because I want to share that healing with the world, has been an incredible journey. And so as I began to design my soul journey, the first thing I did was to create a must-have list. And I'm, I know people will say, well, what's a must-have list? What are you talking about? A must-have list is the people, the situations, the experiences, the things that you must have in your life that really make your soul sing. 
And the beautiful thing about a must-have list is that it, it changes over time as you change and evolve. And um, I'll give you a couple examples of what's on my must-have list. So one of the one of the things I absolutely enjoy and look forward to every morning is I take my pup Jethro for a Sparkle Quest walk. And when we get back, um, my love muffin, my husband, I introduce him as love muffin. That feels better to me. <laughs> so my love muffin, dog and cat, we all go to the porch, we have our coffee and we ease into our day. And so that's one of my must haves. I love that. And unless one of us is traveling, we always do that. And we will we'll sit on the porch, we'll watch the, the squirrels, the birds. Right now, um, we planted for the fifth year in a row milkweed. So we have monarch chrysalises everywhere. I feel like a monarch mama. <laughs> it's so much fun. And um, within two weeks, then they, they will emerge as butterflies. So that's delightful. So that's one of my must-haves. The other must-have that I am very mindful about because for a long time I didn't care was my wardrobe has to match my inner spirit. And so color, you know, you know I love color. <laughs> So um, one of the things I started doing is I love my fairy shoes. This is a part of my wardrobe. I have like six pair from an artisan um, in Lithuania and it's win-win. So I go out and about, I'm wearing my fairy shoes. I'm happy. It makes other people happy. Children are glowing. And that's been very important in my life, having my wardrobe reflect my inner spirit and often it's not whatever's trending <laughs> i'm never i'm never with what's in um i think that and the most important must have that i have on my list is being very intentional and discerning about who i allow in my inner circle um when i be, first began designing my soul journey i realized that i wasn't very mindful about who was in my inner circle and um, now I want people who are wanting to see me evolve, grow, and blossom. That's the criteria. So the beautiful thing about a soul journey, and again, this all derived from intuitive energy art, is that it's different for each of us. It looks completely different for each of us. And I find that, I find that so amazing and fun at the same time. Mm. Wow, there's so much to, to talk about here. Um, so I first know. of all, you are, you are married now. I am. And that itself is probably a story of how that yeah. came to be. And, you know, and that was, um, you know, you're, as you got into your intuitive energy art, I'm sure that kind of changed the way you were, changed your vibration, and then um, drew forth your, your current uh, love muffin. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I made a list. I said, what do I want in a life partner? Yes, yes. And, um, he's all of that. Wow. <laughs> Which was a little daunting at first. I was yeah, like, of okay. course. Of course. Um, so when it comes to your art, you um, clients buy your art um, because it's not just beautiful art, but it also has a more spiritual component to it. Um, and it's, of course, it's... So do you create art individually for people based on um tell, tell us about that i do i there's two different ways i do it um i will i will invite like i said invite my celestial team my angels spirit guides and divine source to join me mm -hmm. and we create and then i also will do custom work for clients who have an intention they'd like to set either if they want more love in their life or they're looking for abundance and let's be clear about what you yeah. what abundance you want right yeah. um yeah or they want career success and yeah. so within that painting i will infuse it with that energy yeah. um, to help them manifest what intention they're setting That's because cool. The beauty of a piece of artwork is that if you place it in a spot that you see it every day, yeah. it's going to trigger, yes. you know, that what you want to manifest. Yes. So it's a constant reminder of, oh, I want more love in my life or more laughter or wonderment. So yes, I do custom work for clients um, as well as 
I have on my website, you'll see over 400 paintings. So I'm very prolific. I, I can't stop. <laughs> it's like I get in my zone and it's yes. all yeah. yep. yeah. I'm channeling. Yeah. So it, it's been an amazing adventure. Yeah. And do you, uh, given that the intuitive energy art has been so healing for you, such an important part of your um, personal and spiritual growth, do you teach this process to other people? I am working on more workshops, but I do a one-on-one -on -one Ignite Your Sparkle session cool. where that's we nice. both paint together. And ah, that's on my website under Create cool. With Me. Okay. Um, but typically, I invite people to either join my business page on Facebook or my women's group, my free community for women, to get to know me first before we dive into that. But yes, I have taught intuitive energy art, and um, that's in the works, a workshop. For both yeah. men and women. But and of course, I, you know me, I'm going to encourage you to do online, online courses yeah. about <laughs> intuitive energy art. So talk, let's talk a bit about designing our soul journey. A lot of the people watching this are fellow coaches, mentors, um, healers and counselors, speakers. And you know, we're, we're all interested in this idea of soul journey. Like how do we, well, of course, folks who are following me, how do we live our more, a more authentic life? Yes, so, and that's uh, what drew me to you. <laughs> yeah. So what, what does, um, how do you, well, I'll, I mean, I'll ask you this way. Why is it that more people aren't living their soul journey? Why, why do you think that is? I have discovered, especially with women, because that's my focus group, women are afraid of stepping into their power hmm. and really owning what it is they want. Um, there's a fear factor of, um, you know, it, it, is it going to make waves? Is, is, are people, is my family going to reject me? Am I, and I don't want to say worthy, but um, is it okay for me to want this? And so there's a real sense of fear that um, we move beyond within designing this whole journey when I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients. And Often what I'll do is I will meditate beforehand to see what they need. We may do an intuitive energy reading. We may, you know, I may check into their Akashic records and see if there's a past life that needs healing. Um, there's a whole, I have a whole toolbox of fun things <laughs> that we, that I use. And it's, it's like I said, so different for each person. So one person may need the Akashic record reading. Another person may need to ignite your sparkle session where we finger paint together to, to design their soul journey. But it's about healing and moving forward, but first getting really clear about what do I want? What do I want my life to look like? And so that's where I start. I start with the must have list. What are your non-negotiables? What, you know, what, another non-negotiable of mine was I really want debt free. I want to live debt free. So for the past 10 years, I have no credit cards. The only, you know, bill that we have is the mortgage. And that was, that was very intentional. Um, ate a lot of ramen noodles, but that's okay. Cause I had, it, I had been $30,000 in credit card debt. Wow. At one time. Amazing. And um, that, so in creating my soul, I know. Fantastic. Your walking example of what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, and, and that's where it drives from. So um, I, there was non-negotiables that I created on my must-have list, and that's really where you need to start in designing your soul journey. And so, yes, there's the element of creativity. There may be journaling. There may be um, painting. Some people are terrified of painting. So, you know, go take your phone and take photos while you take your Sparkle Quest walk and find things that make your soul sing. Um, but the, the first step is creating that must have list so that you can be clear on what you want your life to look like and then empowering women and to really, um, know that they can live the life they envision, whatever that looks like. And it truly is different for each of us. And I love that. It's like, you know, color. I love color. Yeah. So, um, you know, some, some people might be, be so involved with taking care of family or they're you know, having had a, a job for a long time 
that they may have not been dreaming as much about the must have list or what they would consider to be non-negotiable. So you work with clients also to kind of create that, right? Brainstorm that, what might that be? Cause you know, yes. people might just be very, very conservative with their must have list. Yeah. Yeah. I think we do get caught up in adulting in, mm. in um, our everyday routine. Yeah. Um, but we, we all need to take at least 15 minutes a day for just ourselves to tune into our inner, inner voice, listen to what our needs are. And for all of us, if we don't fill up our cup, we're not going to have anything for the people in our lives that we love and adore. We're not going to have that um, magical energy that we need. And so we have to take care of ourselves first. That, that's a must. Yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, several times the Sparkle Quest Walk. <laughs> it's my favorite. What is that? I need to trademark it. Yeah, um, that's cool. Sparkle Quest Walk. I love this because I I do this every day with my dog, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. And it's the same mile and a half. It's so and funny. I, 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 I just want to say, with, with the dog, it's always Sparkle Quest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, yeah. And yeah. that's are good for bringing us back into that you know, being in, present in the moment. So on our Sparkle Quest walk, I pretend I'm a traveler, or you can pretend you're a goldfish and you only have eight seconds of memory, right? So I, um, I pretend I'm a traveler and I look for things that make my soul sing. And again, it's the same mile and a half every day, but there's always something. I always find something. Like this morning, there was this haze I came in and it was all misty, but the sun was glowing behind it. And I got a photo and it was beautiful. So every day it's, it's reconnecting with that childlike wonderment that so many of us have lost or look for it in somebody else, but it's always within us if we choose to tap into it. And that's what the Sparkle Quest Walk is all about, is pretending you're a traveler, everything is brand new. And what can you find along your path? that will make your soul sing. I love that. And that's something all of us can do. So yeah. everybody watching this, you know, today, go take a walk and do the Sparkle Quest walk. So I, it's, it's The only fun. condition is turn off your phone in terms of texts and calls. Right. No, no, don't ruin it with <laughs> taking a call. Yeah. You can use your phone for taking a photo. That's it. Yeah, yeah. that's that's really cool. So. <laughs> For those, uh, do, do do most of your clients are most of your clients artists themselves, or or um, is there a mix? Like like if it's somebody a really good mix. Yeah, there's a good mix. A, a lot of people who don't feel like they're creative are terrified of the whole even term art. And I'm like, really? You you picked out your outfit today, right? Okay, so you're creative. Um, you probably did the decor in your home. Okay, you're, you're breathing. You're creative. Come on. So, yes, I get a really good mix. And so for the people that don't feel comfortable drawing or painting, we do other creative venues. Um, there's journaling. There's writing. There may, they may like to sing. They may like to crochet. They, you know, there's a whole gamut of different things that they can tune into. So no, that's, that's not the entire focus. Yeah, good, good. And so, um, so one of the things you do, I mean, you, you have this box, this box of tools, um, you do some creative work with, with clients, but do you also do kind of just coaching or counseling, that kind of thing? I mean, that's part of the helping them with a must have list and designing their soul journey. Yeah. Yes. I do the one-on-one -on -one with clients. I also offer intuitive energy readings mm -hmm. yeah. where we focus on one thing you may want to resolve or get to the root of. Um, I offer this, the, the Ignite Your Sparkle session, which is a 90 minute healing session. And within the women's community, the free women's community that I have on Facebook, you do receive lots of different offers and bonuses that um, I don't offer outside of that community. Cool. So you get perks. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. For being and I'll, I'll be sure to put that link in the notes of the video as well. Um, so, uh, Tell me about, I mean, can you think of a story of, of a client, whether it's, you know, something that comes to mind and how your work has 
benefited them. So maybe whether it's the art or whether it's the just the soul journey part, um, yeah, give us a little bit yes, of Yes, I'm in the midst of working with a client right now who's just, I'm, I'm so honored to be working with her. But one of the things that she had been saying is, I don't want to do this online marketing for other people. Okay, so what does it look like for you to do your own business? And of course, I'm going to refer her to you because you're a business coach, and that's not my forte. But to get more clear about what it is that she wants to do and how to do it so that you can eat, you still have to eat, and build this business over here. Um, and what does that look like? So one of the things she, she was, it was, uh, it was very intriguing to me. She had said, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, her biggest marketing um, client uh, discontinued working with her. She said out loud, so the universe hears everything you say. <laughs> the universe heard her say, I don't want to do this marketing for other people anymore. Two weeks later, that, her biggest client left. Okay, that's opening up space for something new and magical. So let's get intentional and figure out what that does that look like? You know, really bring in some clarity so that you're doing what makes your soul sing. Yeah. So that's been a part of her soul journey, design your soul journey one-on-one sessions. We've been working on that as well. Mm. Yeah, and that could be a scary place, right? Because- It is, I've been there. <laughs> I've had, to, most of my life, I've had three real jobs <laughs> mm. while pursuing my artwork. Wow, wow. I've been, yeah. I've been in an art business for about 14 years. Wow. Online for five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you mentor artists, fellow artists, who want to make it a thing? I do. Um, and again, that's really evolved. These the standard galleries, you know, uh, brick and mortar are just it's not what it used to be 20 years ago. And when I had a mentor, I had a mentor who would do festivals and she could make sixty thousand dollars at one festival. That's not happening nearly as much. So that's evolved over time, too. And yes, I do mentor um, fellow artists who just for the basics in terms of how to get started. Good, good. <laughs> Anything else you want to share before we uh, adjourn this call? It's been wonderful to get to know you and your work and giving us some ideas to tap into our, our creativity and our wonderment and our soul. I think that's it, but I'm, I'm so grateful that our paths connected and I'm grateful that you've taken your time today to do this interview with me. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I look forward to um, your continuing, you know, offerings and, your online courses, uh, especially, you know, kind of teaching your process and your um, intuitive energy art, but also your kind of your soul guidance process. And um, I encourage everyone to check out your website. So it's www.ilisamillermoon.com. Uh, let me just quickly just share the screen for people. So there you go. That's how you spell it, Ilisa, just with one L. Perfect. Two Ls.com. So check it out. You've got lots of artwork here to enjoy and um, to buy. And you know, you have your you have your various uh, services on, on on here as well. So anyway, uh, those watching, if you have any comments or questions for Ilisa, go ahead and comment below. I'll make sure she sees it. And thank you so much, Ilisa, for, for who thank you, you are and doing your work. All right. Take care.